Welcome to the spoken tutorial on installing Joomla on local server. In this tutorial, we will learn to obtain Joomla, create database, permission and install Joomla. To install Joomla in your system, you should have a system supporting Apache 2.x plus or IIS7 plus, MySQL 5.0.4 plus and PHP 5.2.4 plus. Please note that MySQL 6 and higher versions are currently not supported. You can either install these separately or together using a web server distribution like XAMPP, WAMP or LAMP. Web server distributions gives you Apache, MySQL and PHP bundled in one. Refer to the PHP and MySQL spoken tutorial for more details on XAMPP installation. For this tutorial, we will be using Ubuntu 14.04, Joomla 3.4.1, Apache, MySQL and PHP obtained through XAMPP 5.5.19. First of all, let me check if XAMPP is installed on my machine. Let's open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T keys. Alternately, click on the terminal icon in the launcher bar. Start XAMPP by typing sudo space slash opt slash lamp slash lamp space start. Enter the administrative password when prompted and press enter. Now, Switch to the browser and type http colon double slash localhost. For the very first time of installation, you have to select language. So, here let us select English. In the menu on the left of the screen, click on PHP Info. Now press Ctrl plus F keys and search for document underscore root. It will be found in the table Apache environment. Value of document underscore root will be either slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs or slash where slash www. In my machine it is slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs. Please note this path. We are going to install Joomla here. First, let us download Joomla. So, go to the official website of Joomla, which is www.joomla.org. Click on download button on this web page. We will be redirected to another web page. Here, we see a button that says, Download Joomla 3.4.1 Full Package Zip. Click on that button. Immediately, a small dialog box will open. Here, click on Save File option and then click on OK. This will download Joomla. At the time of making of this tutorial, latest table version is 3.4.1. The content covered in this course is suitable for 3.4.x version. I have already downloaded this file and it is in my downloads folder. Next, we have to create a new folder named Joomla in document underscore root. Go to the terminal window, so add the prompt type sudo space mkdir space slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs slash joomla and press enter. Enter your admin password if prompted. You will have to do so whenever prompted as we proceed. We now change directory to downloads. To see the required path, come to the folder window Move the cursor on Downloads folder 
in the home folder and see the tooltip. On my system it is slash home slash fossey slash downloads. So in the terminal I will type the command cd space slash home slash fossey slash downloads and press enter. You will have to type the path shown on your system. Now we will extract the contents of the zip file into the Joomla folder. At the command prompt type sudo space unzip space name of the Joomla file space hyphen d space slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs slash joomla slash and press enter. Let me clear the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus L. To specify the permissions of the folder Joomla, we will go to document underscore root. Type cd space slash opt slash lamp slash htdocs and press enter. To list the files in this directory, type ls and press enter. Let's give read, write and execute permissions to the owner and the group member of Joomla folder. So type sudo space chmod space 777 space joomla slash and press enter. Before we go ahead with the installation, we need to create a database for Joomla. We will do this in phpMyAdmin. phpMyAdmin is the graphical user interface for MySQL. It comes along with XAMPP installation. Switch to the browser and type http colon double slash localhost. On the XAMPP page, in the menu on the left, under tools, click on PHP My Admin. Click on Users in the top menu and then click on Add User. Enter username, say Joomla-1. From Host drop-down list, select Local. Enter a password in the password text box, say Joomla-123. You can enter any password of your choice. Enter the same password in the retype text box. Please do not respond to generate password prompt for now. Under database for user, we can see the option create a database with the same name and grant all privileges. We will check that option and click the button go at the bottom right of this page. This will create a new database with the name Joomla-1 and with the user Joomla-1. Make a note of the username, password and database names. These will be required later to complete the Joomla installation. Please note Database name and username need not be the same. To have different names, you can first create the database and then create a user for that database. Also, as per naming convention, username should not have any spaces in between. We are now ready to install Joomla. We have XAMPP running and our database is ready. And we have extracted Joomla into the folder Joomla in document underscore root. Go to the browser, type http colon double slash localhost slash Joomla. Please note that Joomla is the folder into which we extracted. Press enter and you will see the Joomla installation page. By default, we are in step number 1, that is configuration. Joomla can be installed in multiple languages. 
We will select English United States here. Click on next button at the top right. We are now on the main configuration page. Enter the site name that you want your website to have. I will have it as Digital India. Email ID is a compulsory field. Please enter a valid email ID here. I will give the ID as Priyanka at spoken-tutorial.org. Next, enter the username that you want for the Joomla administrative page. I will enter username as admin. Enter a password for the Joomla administrator. I will enter admin123 as my admin password. Retype the password in the confirmation box. Please select no option for site offline yes no. The site can be set online later on through the global configuration. We will leave the description blank. Now click on the next button at the top right. So we come to the database configuration page now. Select MySQL as the database type. Enter localhost as the host name. Now we have to enter the username, password and database name. These are the ones we created earlier in PHP My Admin. I will enter Joomla hyphen one as the username. Then Joomla123 as the password and Joomla-1 as the database name. Leave the table prefix as it is. In old database process, select Backup. This is to take backup of tables with identical names as in the database when Joomla is upgraded. Click on Next button at the top right. We are now on the Finalization and Overview page. In the Finalization section, locate Install Sample Data. By default, one of the radio buttons will be selected. The options listed here will install some sample articles, menus, plugins, etc. on the site. These are useful for a beginner to understand Joomla. You may choose one of the options when you are installing Joomla for the first time. I do not wish to do so. So, I will choose the None option. Scroll the page below and check the overview information displayed here. Now, click on the Install button on the top right. This step may take some time. Now, we will see the message. Congratulations! Joomla is now installed. Under the message, there is a Remove Installation Folder button. Click on it to remove the installation folder. If we get an error in this step, we must remove the folder manually. I got an error because I am not logged in as Linux Super User. I don't have delete permission either. So, now let us switch to the terminal. We will delete the installation folder manually from the Joomla folder. This is mandatory. So, please do not skip this step. Type cd joomla. Then type sudo space rm space hyphen rf space installation slash. Press enter. Enter the administrative password when prompted. After successful removal of the installation folder, switch to the browser. Type localhost slash Joomla. We have reached our website. Since I did not install sample data, I do not see menus, articles, etc. right now. Let's go to the administrator page from where we can administer our website. So, go to the localhost slash Joomla 
slash administrator and press enter. Login with the administrator login and password. I will type admin as username and admin123 as password. As our website is installed, we have the administrator access. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learn to install Joomla from Joomla website, create database in PHP MyAdmin, and install Joomla on local server. Let's come to the assignment now. Install Joomla with the sample data, uninstall Joomla, and then install a fresh Joomla without sample data. Compare the difference. The video at this link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorial and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Spoken tutorial project is supported by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. The script has been contributed by Priyanka and this is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.